There we go. All right. Uh, I'll make this quick because people have been wanting this for a while, I guess, and I've been really lazy and not releasing it. So this is a um, tutorial on how to import and export models into Project M via, I mean, you know, into Brawlbox and into 3ds Max. So what you're going to need for this is Brawlbox and 3ds Max. It's pretty much it. All the other files are going to be the stuff you're going to have to get yourself, like character files and stuff like that. I'm assume that you know how to do skinning and rigging. If not, I'm going to cover that in a different video. This video will just cover how to get, well, I mean, just about any model you can think of into Project M. So I'm going to start off and open up Brawlbox. And uh, here, I'll just start off with getting a model into 3ds Max if you already have it in Brawlbox. For example, let's say you want to take a Charizard and put him into something. I don't know. So let's, I'm going to go into 3.6 actually. Project M, PF, Fighter, Pokey, Lizardon. And there will be his files. So we'll just take the red Charizard, open it up here. And if you look at model deck, tech, model stuff, there's the model, yeah, there's the model for Charizard. Um, and now texture data, this is where the textures are stored. So what you'll need for this is you'll need his model and his textures, obviously. So we're going to right click this model right here, do export, and we're going to export it as a .dae, which is a collage scene. And for the sake of ease, I'm just going to make a folder called Grazard put that file in there. Now to get the textures to show up on the model we're going to do export all uh, from the texture data and click on the same thing. And we'll ask what type you want and just do PNG. So now we can actually close out of this and I'll copy one of that file. You want the pack not the PCS? Um, I'll copy that into that folder too just because why not. So now I'm going to open up Grayzard here and click the .dae to open it with 3ds Max because you're going to want to open it with 3ds Max as I just said. And it's going to take a sec to open up. You've got to be patient. Starting in 3ds Max. I don't know why it's taking so long usually. So there we go. See, it's opening it's opening up here. Um, when you first open it, it'll be slow, so you got to give it a minute. Uh, if you need 3ds Max, Google 3ds Max for students, and if you are a student, you can get it for free, a three-year license, which, you know, updates every year, so you can pretty much get it free as long as you're a student. Um, I'd always recommend just using the most stable version, or most recent version, I should say. Um, 2015 is really useful as and they give you the uh, the bar here to see all your stuff pretty useful I like it so now when you open it up in 3ds max it's gonna look like this um, the eyes and stuff like that are all pretty much always gonna be fucked up um, so don't worry about that um, what I'm gonna do now here is I'm going to let's say get I don't know I'm gonna I'll open up like an armor stand or something like that. I don't, you know, it's something, it's something, I'm trying to think of something to use here. So, I'll just do personal stuff. Um, hmm, what do I want to add in? Yeah, I'll use this random thing of power armor I was working on. There we go. So now I'm going to open this up. It's just a model of some power armor from Fallout. Um, I was planning to do it for Samus when I got, you know, some free time. But this is just gonna be an example. So note again, I'm gonna I'm going to rig this onto Charizard, so at least have some movement to demonstrate. Um, but I'm not gonna cover rigging, so you'll pretty much just have to either wait for a different tutorial on rigging or just Google it and find out the general basics of rigging in 3ds Max because it's not that hard. Um, it really isn't that hard to be honest. Uh, rigging is tedious and annoying, but there are easier ways to do it than manually, obviously, with everything. There's going to be an automatic, at least partially automatic way when you're doing modeling. 
um, such as like mirroring stuff if you have symmetrical models, things like that. Um, so now we've got this other window open here. And cool. We'll save that. And it sometimes takes a second to open up also. But I can actually just get rid of all these bones. So child nodes, delete. So now I've got this body here. Save as. Cool. Yeah, I think cool will work, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to close this. Do import. Fuck. Import merge. Now I'm going to do cool. And I'm just going to do select all. Uh, delete old, delete old. There's just some lights. Don't worry about that. It won't happen for you. Anyway, so now we've got this tiny little model of armor here. Uh, I'm going to select Trezor's bones really quickly and just hide them. Uh, and also I can just hide pretty much everything except his body. So, I, yeah, so uh, This bar over here lets you hide and unhide stuff. There's this little bulb, so it will let you do it. Uh, anyway. And to rotate this 90 degrees, I forgot to select the hands, it's always a problem. Select the hands, fuck. Rotate it so it's going the right way. Move it to. I'm going to click U to go to orthographic view, which makes it so that you can see mathematical measurements. So I want to see, there's no more perspective, pretty much is what, it's, what, that, what that, that fucking loaded sentence means. Now I'm going to lower this pretty much to the floor. And I'm going to size it up. Looks like pivot. Let's see. Let me see. Come on, let me click stuff. Looks like pivot. Zero, zero, zero. And so now. I'm going to scale this up, bam, there will be something similar to Charizard in size at least. So now I'm just going to basically have this, um, actually for the sake of just being stupid, I'm going to have this with the arms moving kind of like Charizard's wings. And you want to have stuff sitting pretty much where uh, the other model is sitting. To make it easy, if you can click something and click Alt-X, it makes it see-through, which makes uh, working with stuff a little bit easier. Right, there we go. So that's about centered. Yeah, that's about that's about centered. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just rig it. So I'm going to click. Anyway, all right. So I'm just going to click this. The old the old skin will be on this model if it was rigged before. Um, just click delete. And so now I'm going to click skin. Add. And remember how before I hit all Charizard's bones, I'm going to select those and unhide them. Cool. So I'm selecting the body again, going to click add, and then do, just click in the empty space, click control A for all. And then now we added all the bones from Charizard, I'm going to do edit envelopes, just control A once more time. And then you want to right click and go to wait tool dialog, it'll open this thing up. I'm just going to move it with, uh, bust N should be here somewhere, yeah there's bust N, that's usually the chest piece. So now I'm going to do that, that's wit rigged so that will move with Charizard's bust, and that's Charizard's body so now we want, we don't need the cable, I'm just going to delete some parts of this model because we don't need all this, so, hose, visor, we'll have the helmet move with, we'll have the helmet, yeah, the helmet will do that, so, I'm going to put the helmet, fucking, there, so now I'll show you how to bring with something else. I guess it's really simple. Let's click edit envelopes. I'm gonna click this bone. Now I'm gonna click control A. Your weight tool dialog and see this is wing JC. That's not what I wanted. Now I'm gonna click fucking. That's not right. That shouldn't be like that. I don't know why it's doing that. Well. Aside from that being really weird, 
guess. Uh, where's my neck bones then? If it wants to do this, then we'll fucking do this. But your bones shouldn't be out here like this. Just letting you guys know. Um, no idea where mine are, but there we go. Actually, I'm gonna fucking. I'm, I'm gonna why. Okay, I'm gonna delete the old skin and I'm gonna do skin. Add all. Edit envelopes. Click all once again. No, must basically click the bone with the neck, and then again go to weight tool and go to all, and then yeah, there it is. So now we have this model rigged to fit with Charizard. It's not gonna look good at all. This is just again a demonstration. But now that I have only the parts I need, like of the you know the new model showing, I'm gonna do Control A for select all, export selected, and then go to the desktop as a .dae once again and do suit. So once you've rigged your model, actually I'll show the export settings I usually use just to just to make it clear, I guess. It will take a second sometimes to export stuff, especially if you're doing high poly stuff. Um, so don't worry about that. Oh, come on. There we go. So when I export stuff, blah, blah, blah. I need you to do this. I'll do... You want to import it as inches and export as centimeters from 3ds Max, and then you can. Just, this is animation. I don't. I don't, I don't export animation, uh, nor cameras or lights, because you just want the model, obviously. Um, and then that. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to export it again, though, obviously. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and just open up Poke Lars at or no, no, whatever uh, one again. Go to power armor thing I'm gonna get the texture because I need that again um, power armor these are all the different textures I'm just gonna do import texture desktop personal uh, where is it oh I'm just on this I do this one as CMPR I'm not going to go over texture formats, I have a different video on that, if you want to check that out, please go and, uh, yeah, check that out, that's the normals, I don't need that, I'm pretty sure actually I have the textures I need, um, so now in model data, I'm going to do import model, actually, don't, no, don't do that, I'm sorry, so what you want to do is, you know, exp you want to open up back to the model we talked about with Charizard here, and do right click and do replace, and I'm going to go to desktop and do suit, so I'm just going to put the suit over Charizard in. Bam, there we go. So now if I preview this, there we go. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna load up the animations. So I'm in the right top right or top left and do that and then Google Drive. Smash I you think you find a uh, fit motion etc file. Um, it's gonna be somewhere. So there we go. And now I'm gonna tool this down, so I'm gonna do the weight one animation. So now if you look at the bones here, this is obviously shows our legs. And, you know, there's the tail and the wings. I only have this helmet here is following this bone in the neck. And then the body is following this chest, the chest bone. So I play this animation. I'll loop it. See that the model's in. And, bam, that's, that, there you go. It, it's rigged. It's not an example of, you know, advanced rigging, but it's pretty good to just get an idea. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the basic principle behind this is that if something's too complicated, you want to keep the size of the file and the vertices and stuff below the original model. Um, and you don't want if something's too like you know complicated, you got to simplify it in 3ds Max. I'm not gonna say this. Um, and it basically, if you can get anything into a .dae format, you can export it or get it into the into the Brawl universe or Smash universe, whatever they call. Um, you can get it into Brawl. <laughs> As long as it's .dae, or you can get the file into a .dae. So pretty much that means there's no limits as long as you know how to use the 3ds Max um, model program in Brawlbox. Um, and I'll do an, a video about shaders and stuff, how to make it look cool later. Um, but I just wanted a really quick tutorial on how to actually get stuff in and out of Brawlbox and therefore the game. So I hope this was useful in, in getting a few, you know, uh, misconceptions or just getting a basis of where you want to start from. Um, so. That's all that I've really got to say, and thanks guys. Bye.